Hey guys, this is David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to activate the G1 without a data plan. Uh, if you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and then search for our procedure on how to activate the G1 without a data plan. Okay, before you begin, there are two other ways of doing this uh, that are a little bit easier. Um, if you're using the carry that the phone is locked to, for example, Rogers in Canada or T-Mobile here in the U.S., um, would be just to borrow a friend's SIM card with a data plan, put it in the phone, activate your phone, and then switch your SIM card into the phone. Uh, the other option would be to add a data plan to your SIM card for just that day and then remove it after you've activated the phone. For example, here in off, they literally will only charge you a dollar because you only used one day. So for a dollar to get it active, not too bad. Uh, you won't ever have to activate the phone again unless you reset it. Um, the other option, if you bought the phone and you're trying to use a company that the phone is not locked to, for example, you are going to unlock the phone, um, then you're going to need to unlock the phone first with an unlock code that you can buy from us on our site here in the store uh, or from anywhere else. Once the phone has been unlocked, then you can just go to the activation screen, hit menu, click on APN, add your phone company's APN settings, and then activate the phone that way. Um, so if neither of those two ways work for you, for example, you just don't want a data plan at all, um, then you can continue to the next step and we'll show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get back to RC29. That's the pretty much the first version of Android that the G1 ships with. Um, you can see we have a link there for you. Just follow the instructions at that link. Skip the very last step, which tells you to upgrade back to Cupcake. We don't want to be on Cupcake. We want to be on RC29. So do that, um, and then obviously also you need to make sure you have a Wi-Fi connection available in order to finish the rest of this procedure. So once you have that, come back to this procedure, and we can continue. Okay, next step would be to set up ADB. Uh, ADB is basically the program that your computer will use to talk to the phone. Um, if you've already installed the SDK and set up ADB before, you don't have to do it again. If you haven't though, you're gonna wanna do the procedure that we have the link to right there. Uh, once you're done with that, you can come back to this procedure and we can continue. Okay, if you want to activate the phone without a uh, SIM card at all, the easiest way to get around this is to just borrow someone's SIM card. I'm sure you know anyone that has a SIM card. Um, just borrow that and then continue the procedure. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is put a SIM card in the phone. It doesn't have to be an active SIM card, so just any SIM card will do. Type ADB devices, and it should show a serial number, which means that your computer can recognize your phone. If it doesn't, you need to go back and either redo uh, the ADB process or retype what we typed on the phone keyboard so that the phone can be recognized by the computer. 
If you do get the serial number, you can continue. Next thing we're going to type is... Shell. And, and, start. And remember, everything you type in is cap sensitive, so make sure you capitalize where we tell you to capitalize. Uh, and then hit enter when you're done. Starting intent, it should say. Okay, once you type that, your phone should pop up with the settings screen. Uh, so you can unplug it from the computer, and now we can turn on the Wi Fi. And add our Wi-Fi network and hit connect say obtaining address and you'll see we're connected so now we can hit back 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 and now we're at the welcome to the T-Mobile G1 screen with Wi-Fi access so now you can go through the registration process set up your Google account and everything um, and you didn't need a data plan at all so you're all set enjoy